Hi everyone, it's Michelle. You're watching Tokyo Pass 3, a Japan travel and lifestyle channel that, thanks to you, has just reached 1,000 subscribers. Yay! I am very happy about this. Thank you so, so much. I am really grateful for your support. Those of you who have been here for a long time and for the new subscribers, I am really, really happy that you are here. I finally achieved this milestone after a long time of grinding continuously. I know that I upload sporadically. I never really followed that upload every week rule, but I am happy that you guys are here and you are sharing this journey with me. One of the reasons why I upload sporadically is, of course, yes, I have responsibilities like my actual job, which earns me the salary I need to make these videos. But more than that, it's actually to prevent burnout because I know that it's a thing that easily comes with making YouTube videos. I want to do this for a very, very long time. I really want to share the things that I experience here in Japan with you and hopefully you find it entertaining or informative. So again, thank you so, so much to all of you. It takes a community to build a thriving channel and I am so happy that you are here and I'm so excited that we are going to build this community that hopefully will become bigger. So. Yay! <laughs> Speaking of which, let me update you on some of the things that are in the works, in the pipeline. But before we do that, let's move over there to my usual space because I want to sip some tea while I talk to you guys. All right, now on to the update. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is that my mom is finally coming to Tokyo for a visit. I might have mentioned in other videos that um, I've actually been living here for 11 years and my mom has never been here. So like one of my goals for this year was actually to finally get her to come here and experience Japan. And as you may already know, if you're from the Philippines, you need a visa to enter Japan. And because I'm sponsoring everything, I needed to take care of a lot of documents, you know, get my tax records, my income records and all that, and just send it to the Philippines so that they can apply for a visa. And because it's my mom's first time abroad, I really have to walk her through a lot of things. And yeah, so it's just like a lot of research, a lot of explaining, and thankfully uh, we also got some help from relatives uh, in the Philippines who helped her with forms and stuff because she's never really liked forms. So things are in order and it's just really the flight now and I'm excited to show her around and show her the country that I've been living in for the past 11 years and hopefully she likes it too. And on to update number two, because my mom is going to come here for a visit, the next few videos that I'm going to upload on the channel are travel vlogs and hopefully you find them informative or entertaining. It's basically just going to be me showing my mom around and you guys in extension. My mom said she's okay being in the videos but we'll see. Along the way she might not be as comfortable and yeah in the videos I will speak Tagalog a lot probably because that's the only language I speak with my mom. I'm pretty sure that she's gonna tell me that I should shoot her in a more flattering light or angle or something like that but that's expected. In any case, my mom's comfort and enjoyment is my first priority, but at the same time, I'll take videos for you guys too. Update number three, there is gonna be another Unusual Places in Japan video, and this time it's gonna be a different prefecture. And I don't know, while I was doing the research, I was already cracking up because I found a lot of ridiculous things that I wanna share with you guys. So that's in the works, that's in the pipeline. I've actually reported already one of the places, but it's a little bit delayed into later this year because I want to do the travel vlogs first. For those of you who enjoyed that series, there's going to be more coming. <laughs> My dream is actually to do a unusual things to do in blank for every prefecture in Japan and I know that will take years to accomplish but yeah, like researching all these things, uh, it's, it's really fun. Thank you very much for answering the survey, by the way. I was so glad that there were people answering that they liked the Unusual Places video because um, you're kind of my tribe. <laughs> Speaking of the survey, let me go to my fourth update, which is actually about the most voted option in that survey. You'd like 
of videos about me sharing my personal experiences related to Japan. Yeah, I do like sharing some of my experiences, but I'm always nervous that I might be oversharing. And considering that the things you put on the internet are forever, I have to be careful. Uh, there is a style that I've been trying to experiment with in telling these stories. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but yeah, we'll see. You'll see when the videos are up. <laughs> Update number five. I want to do live videos. At least I want to try. I'm really scared about doing them because I'm not very articulate. Like, you know, when I make these videos, I usually have some kind of script. Not today. <laughs> But I have some kind of script or outline. I know the things that I'm gonna say and I don't know if I can communicate as well on a live video and I have to like look at the logistics and how to actually prepare that. But I really want to be able to talk to you guys in you know real time and hopefully have fun in the chat. There's still a lot of things I need to figure out for that to happen but if you are interested in me doing a live could you let me know in the comments so maybe I could get some encouragement about actually trying something that I am quite afraid of. And my final update is that um, really sorry but my buy me a coffee is not working anymore. <laughs> it's not really the buy me a coffee part but the stripe part because to get the donations from buy me a coffee you need to have a stripe account and stripe kind of uh, flagged me as a problematic account because um, it's not an actual business and I need to submit forms proving that I'm a business if I were to receive payments so um, yeah that is not a thing anymore I've stopped linking to it um, on my videos and my uh, WordPress blog as well so I'm thinking of maybe opening a patreon account again this is just for people who are interested in donating and I you know I'm, I'm really surprised that there are people <laughs> who want to donate. Um, I really get quite embarrassed when money is involved actually but I I do feel quite honored that there are people who want to support in monetary ways and um, I'm gonna figure that out for <laughs> you as well. And those are the things that I wanted to share with you guys as an update. Again, thank you so, so much for being here. Every like, every kind comment that I get, it really warms my heart and I am very happy to be doing this with you. So I'll see you again in the next video. This has been Majel for Tokyo Pass 3. Bye!